Hello, dear friends, I am Corey, and if you use this stuff to base your miniature, you are wasting a lot of money, and you shouldn't. Hello, my dear friends, I am Corey. Welcome to this new video in which I'm going to show you how to save money when basing your miniatures. The idea for this video came out really randomly because I was thinking one day, hey, we spend a lot of money in things that we actually shouldn't in some cases, like basing. Now, don't get me wrong, basing miniature is something that is incredibly important because it helps to uh, create an environment in which our miniatures are set. But this doesn't mean that we have to spend a lot of money, like for example using the extremely expensive paints that we use to paint our miniatures, like Citadel Army Painter Vallejo paint. And we shouldn't absolutely spend a lot of money in basing material because if you think about it, that stuff, you can find it easily outside, in the wild, in the stores that aren't actually hobby stores. So I decided why not making a video in which I'm going to show you how to save money, but also doing a little bit of a challenge. So I am going outside in that cold and horrible world populated by people and try to spend as less money as I can for stuff that I can use for basing our models. The rules are very simple, nothing overcomplicated, just sands, paints and something that could be used as static grass or vegetation into our bases, which I actually have some ideas but we will see what I am going to find. I know where to go, but I don't know what I will find. And especially I don't know how much I am going to spend. But we'll see. I hope, uh, I'm hoping that I'm not going to spend too much. I'm thinking of around like 10 to 15 euros of stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Let's go in the stores that I have around here in my city. Let's see what I can find. So the first place that I wanted to try and take a look is called Flying Tiger, which is a chain store uh, created in Denmark and they sell basically whatever you could possibly imagine. Every month they have something different and it is a very cheap store. You can find things that cost like one, two dollars or even five, ten dollars at maximum. It depends. And I think it is a very cool place to find the stuff that we need for what I'm going to do. Oh, there is something that I actually need. This is hobby glue, which uh, basically is your vinyl white glue that you use for basing. And here costs two euros, which is like three dollars, I guess. This is very useful. And also this, very cool, yay! Basic poster paint. So this is poster paint. I don't know if it's going to be good for painting bases, but this is a nice chocolatey brown color, which is good for like mud or a ground color. How, how much it costs? Five euros, like six, seven dollars. And there are, 250 millimeters of it, so quite a lot of paint. Let's hope that it is actually good. All right, so what did I found? This uh, poster paint, which I hope is going to be good. Uh, for what I'm going to do because well, it's a nice brown very light brown and uh, Let's hope that this is going to cover at least the primer on the basis and then the hobby glue which is uh, cool There are 125 grams Not milliliters Well, there are grams here 
Don't know why they didn't put the milliliters in here. But anyway, both of these in the end costed me four euros because they were discounted yeah. instead of... Hmm? Three euros. You pay four euros, but you also bought uh, the hair ties. Oh, yeah, true. Three euros <laughs> <laughs> for this two things because everything was discounted in the end uh this wasn't five and this wasn't three i have spent three euros for both of these things which is very good we are basically halfway to paint our bases for our miniatures in a very cheap way uh the only thing that i need is just some maybe rocks and sands and if we are lucky we are also going to find something that could resemble static grass or plants uh let's see what we can find in next door We are in our next store, which is Action, and I believe that you can find this store also in the place that you live. Action is a Dutch discount store chain, and it is international. And I have to be honest, I went in the store once, and I actually don't remember quite a lot, to be honest, because it was a while ago, but I remember that they have very low price product. So let's just see what we can find inside. All right, this is a very cool thing that I, that actually is my very first time seeing in a store like this. They have acrylic varnishes. They have gloss and matte varnish for just like one euro and 60 cents, which like $2, I guess. I'm gonna buy this because for my airbrush, this is absolutely very, very useful. And also they have this, which is a medium for both acrylic or chalk paint. There is quite a lot. How, 500 milliliters. This is going to last for my entire lifetime, I guess. Very cool. They also have a wide arrangement of acrylic paint and brushes, but no brown that I could use for my terrains. Well, let's see what, what else they have. This is what I was looking for. This is decorative stones or sands. There are three types of stones in here. Uh, this one maybe is too big, but this two, if mixed together, they are going to create a, I hope, a nice, nice uh, terrain effect on the basis of the models. Well, I am going to try this. Let's see how they perform. Well, I said that I just needed sand, and sand I found, the decorative stone. This costed one euro there are 700 gram almost a kilogram the problem is that the fine sand here on the top there is there is there's not a lot of it uh there is also a medium kind of grain sand and then and then there are big big rocks um let's hope that in the next store i'm going to find more fine type of sand not that i don't have that at home but well this will defeat the purpose of the video because i'm trying to find things that are actually cheap to to use but well i think that this is going to work fine uh we'll have to see i was very surprised to find both matte varnish and a medium for acrylic paint and they didn't cost a lot i don't know if this uh, acrylic varnish is airbrush ready i don't know but it's not going to be a problem at all i can just thin it with a little bit of this medium which there is almost a liter of it 500 milliliters it was very cheap this costed three euros and this cost a euro and 60 cents for a total of four euros and 60 cents for all these three things this medium is going to last me for a lifetime. There is so much of it. Another success, I guess. Let's see in the next door what we can find, hoping for a small type of sand. Okay, this is the last store for this video, which is called Euro prezzi or Euro prices, I guess it could be translated this way. Basically, in this giant supermarket, you can find 
everything that you could possibly imagine because what they do they just buy stocks of all of the stuff that, that they could find in stores uh, supermarkets that maybe they have closed or that they just bankrupted and they buy all of this stuff and then resell it for an incredibly cheap price so since i can find whatever i want inside here i hope to find more stuff that i can use for this video and my hobby in general so let's just go inside and let's see what we can found This is what I was talking about. Uh, sable decoratif. Uh, this is uh, decorative sand. And is, this is the brand that I have at home that I use for my miniatures. And there is one kilogram and a half in this, in this tube here, and it costs two euros. But there is, this is not the only one. There are also more bigger stones, and also the smaller format for this kind of sand which this is the one that I'm going to buy, especially this one yellow here because, well, yellow is cool <laughs> but I'm just going to paint over it, so so yeah, this is cool, 700 gram for 1 euro 50 there are also a lot more stone here, decorative sand, etc. and there are also a small bucket of this bigger stones that you see here but I don't need this at the moment, but this would also be a very nice thing to have in your hobby table. Look, they also have transport cases for the people who don't paint their miniatures. Cool. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I guess that I was lucky. Yes. And I think this is the only one. <laughs> this, this is what I was looking for. We, in Italy, we have this tradition called presepe which is a diorama representing the nativity and um, we buy every year during the Christmas time this stuff which is kind of static grass but it's very very more it is more it's not so fine like classic static grass that we use in our hobby but for three euros I can get this huge pack and I can try to use it as static grass um, I don't know, let's try. Maybe it will work. Okay, it's starting to get in dark outside. But, well, I have spent 4 euros and 50 cent. And I bought these uh, sand, which is exactly what I was looking for, because this is a very fine grit sand. And I already, as I said before, I already have this brand and I use it all the time that I have to base my miniatures, but I bought it because, well, more sand to use. And this costed one euros 50, and then this moss, this giant packet of moss, uh, dried moss. Fake. Fake moss, actually. <laughs> and um, I don't know if this could be used as static grass. We will try and see, because if this, is going to be a very realistic and useful or good looking static grass. Well, I have a lot of I have a lot of static grass at this moment right now. We'll see. Let's go home and let's try to base some miniatures with the stuff that I have bought right now and let's see how the results turn out. And I am back from my journey outside in the real world. And I have to be honest, I am quite happy. I am especially surprised about the dried moss because, well, I wasn't expecting to find it because it's a little bit too late to find this kind of stuff, but I was lucky enough to find a bag of it and I am very curious to see how these things will perform if put onto a base to simulate vegetation or grass. So let's go to the hobby table and let's see how all of this stuff that I bought will perform on a base of a miniature. All right, I'm here at home at my hobby table. Let's see how can I use the stuff that I bought. The first thing that I want to do is to make it easy for me to use the sand that I've bought. Thanks to this little plastic box, it's going to be very easy to store it and use it. To make it look better, I decided to mix the different grits of sand to recreate a sort of random pattern when I apply it on my bases. I didn't put the bigger rocks into the mix because those are too big for what I'm trying to do.
as a test miniature, I'm going to use this little rat fighter from Northumbrian Team Soldier. He is going to be glued on a 30mm round base. Let's start by mixing the hobby glue with some water and apply it on the base. To be honest, this glue doesn't feel very good at the moment. It's very watery out of the bottle. In fact, I had to add a little bit more glue to the mix. Now let's dip the miniature in the sand mixture. The slightly bigger rocks didn't stick to the base, but that's okay. The model and the base are quite small and maybe those rocks could have been too much. At the moment it doesn't look very good, I know, but let me prime it and see what it will look like. Much, much better. Now, before the base, I need to paint the model, since usually painting the base is the last thing you do when working on a project. So, just give me a couple of minutes to paint this little guy. Alright, he's ready. Now, let's paint the base. I want to paint the base with a little darker brown than the one that I have, so I'm mixing these two paints together in order to obtain it. Now, let's see how this paint performs. I'm getting a strange feeling by using this paint. The consistency is kinda goopy, which is not a problem since I'm painting a base, but just to be sure, I thin it even more than usual. In the end, it covered the primer very well. I start to get a little bit worried because at a certain moment the glue that I applied before started to get liquid again, but once everything dried up there were no issues at all. Now I would like to try to wash it. With a big bottle of medium I am thinning down the black paint heavily. It turned out to be a great idea, it almost looked like the washes that I normally use. Since I've used this paint in basically almost every way, I also want to try to dry brush with them. Not bad, not bad at all. Now it's time to apply the dried moss, but before that I quickly paint the rim of the base with some black paint. I've cut the moss in smaller bits with my hobby knife, and after putting some dots of the glue on the base and applying them on it, This is the end result. I think that turned out pretty, pretty great. So, let's draw our conclusions. How much did I spend for all of the stuff that you have seen here? Exactly 13 euros. 13 euros for a ton of stuff between sand, paints, medium, uh, vegetation, a lot of stuff. 13 euros. And for just half of that price, 6 euros and 50, you can buy from one of the known brand, let's just say one that nobody knows, Games Workshop, you, you can buy a single bottle of texture paint for 6 euros and 50 cents, 6 euros and 30 cents, anyway, just this. With this I can paint 30 bases, 30 models, 50 if I am very cautious with the application, but with all of the stuff that I bought I can base like more than one army I guess. 
what I think about all of this stuff. Well, let's start with the thing that I liked less, which are these two Creole basic color acrylic uh, uh, poster paints. They are not bad, but they are, as I said, very goopy. I have to work with this paint a little bit more just to understand how they work the better, how much to thin them, if I have to use water or medium or whatever, I don't know. But overall they are not bad. Uh, I'm going to use them when I'm short of the paint that I use when I have to paint, paint my base. How much time am I going to say paint? Anyway, I use this paint which is called Maimeri Acrylico and it is a paint that I have bought in a DIY store for 3 euros, 3 euros 50 I guess. And now let's talk about the sand which I've put in this box as you saw before and it's sand. <laughs> The great advantage of this stuff is that I got a ton of it and I didn't spend a lot of money. With all of this sand that I have here, which is quite heavy, I am going to base more than one army, I think. Also because I already have a box like this with more fine grit sand. But anyway, again, it's sand. Nothing incredible about it, just that it's very cheap. The van... Van the medium from Holland <laughs> that I have bought. Um, I don't know, I've just used it for a wash. I wanted to try and use it into my airbrush and let's see if it works, but well, it's a medium. I think it will work exactly like the classic Lamia medium or all of the medium that we usually use for our paints, like the Army Painter one or whatever else. Unfortunately, I didn't use the acrylic matte varnish from the same brand uh, because I already had a bottle of matte varnish already open it and I didn't want to open a new one. But in the future I will use it and maybe you will know how it worked. I don't know, we will see. And last but not least, the giant bag of dried moss. My greatest fear with this stuff was that it comes in really big chunks and I don't know, I wasn't really convinced that this is going to be a realistic kind of vegetation into our bases. But in the end, after working with my little hobby knife and some scissors and cut it into little, little pieces, it ended up being great. And well, I'm very happy that I have bought this because I'm going to use it even more than the classic static grass that I usually use because it's even more realistic, I think. Well, this was one of the biggest, maybe the best purchase that I have done in this video. And I hope you had fun watching this video too, at least as much as I did. And let me know down in the comment what you think about all of the stuff that I bought and if you have a store, a favorite store, in which you can find all of this stuff and how much would you spend for the same thing that I have bought here. And also you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more video in the future. And also down in the description you will find a link to my Instagram in which every week I post stuff, mostly painted miniatures but I will try to do something more with that. But anyway, if you want, you can also follow me there, link down in the description. And if you stay with me till now, my friends, thank you very much. Now I'm going to take a little break for the holidays and I'm going to post a new video in January, the next month. So stay tuned. Happy holidays. I am Corey and see you next time.